author of landmark works such as Money and London Fields, as well as the autobiographical work experience, Martin Amos passed away peacefully at his home in Lake Worth, Florida, at the age of 73. His esophageal cancer, according to Isabel Fonseca, his wife. During the 1980s, British literature was dominated by authors like Amos, Salman Rushdie, Ian McEwan, and Julian Barnes. Robert McCrum of The Guardian ranked his novel Money from 1984 as one of the top 100 novels published in English. According to McCrum, Money was one of the dominant novels of the 1980s and a Zeitgeist book. He continued, saying, The thrill of money, which is turbocharged with savage humor from first to last page, is Amos' prodigal delight in contemporary Anglo-American vernacular. Many reviewers praise the author's style and voice, with one New York Times writer comparing it to a tale taken down in a trance by a medium in the grip of a spirit control, one of those prankish controls waxing autobiographical from a spectral barstool. Amos explained that plots really matter only in thrillers, and that money was a voice novel in an interview with the Paris Review. If the voice doesn't work, you're screwed, he continued. After attending schools in Britain, Spain, and the United States, Amos enrolled in Exeter College, Oxford, where he earned a first-class degree in English. He was born in Oxford in 1949. When he was averaging an O-level a year as a wayward adolescent, his stepmother, the novelist Elizabeth Jane Howard, is who he says woke him up to literature. After an hour of reading the materials she provided, I returned to her study and asked, I've got to know, does Elizabeth marry Darcy? While working as an editorial assistant at the Times Literary Supplement, he'd released his debut novel, The Rachel Papers, in 1973. It was awarded the Somerset Maugham Prize in 1974, and in 1975, the darkly humorous Dead Babies was released. Between 1977 to 1979, he served as literary editor of The New Statesman and released his third novel, Success. Kingsley Amis, Amis' father and the winner of the Booker Prize in 1986 for his novel The Old Devils, was often held up as an example for his son. The younger Amis was never a winner of the Booker Prize, although his novel's Times Arrow, 1991, a depiction of a Nazi war criminal recounted in reverse chronological order, and Yellow Dog, 2003, were both finalists. When asked about the Amos franchise becoming something of a burden, Amos admitted on BBC Radio 4 that he wishes he had put greater distance between himself and his father. The death of Amos' father is discussed in his memoir Experience, released in the year 2000. Amos' divorce from Antonia Phillips, an American professor and the mother of his two kids, is discussed in the book. Amos' cousin Lucy Partington was killed by Fred and Rosemary West, and his story of discovering he was the father of a 17-year-old daughter he had never met is also told in experience. Thanks for watching.